Good to see you. Are we really doing this? We're gonna do this. So, do you remember thinking that after the Rebels took down the Empire, that there was gonna be peace for a long time? Yes. Yeah, that didn't last too long. Here's Star Wars, The Force Awakens. I got a bad feeling about this. So these two guys are sitting in a hut, and the old dude gives the young dude what looks like a used tampon, and says this will make things all better. And Poe says that Leia's wanted this for a long time, but then this droid BB-8 comes in, and tells them some bad guys are coming. And as soon as they land, the stormtroopers start shooting everyone. But they killed the Empire. You will find that it is you who are mistaken. Well, not all of them. And it's been like 30 years, so the ones that were still alive had plenty of time to rebuild. And they're barely even trying to rebrand, because they still have stormtroopers and the same ships. They just call themselves the First Order instead. And they're there to find what the old dude gave Poe, and conduct their search by shooting the villagers and burning down their hovels before even searching them. Never even asked me any questions. Poe and BB-8 tried to escape on his X-Wing, but it's shot before it can even take off. Turns out that the old dude gave him a flash drive, and Poe gives it to BB-8 and tells him to fuck off. He's no respect for anyone. He then shoots a stormtrooper, and for the first time, we're supposed to give a crap. Or at least it's the first time another stormtrooper cares. And after watching his friend die, this one's like, what did I get myself into? But then another ship lands, and this dude Kylo Ren gets out. He knows the old guy. Hello and wants him to give him the map to Skywalker. But the old dude just says, I know who you are, and you need to stop pretending to be bad. What if I'm not the hero? What if I'm the bad guy? So he forgets that he needs information from him, and kills him. I had an adrenaline rush. And even though Poe managed to stay hidden, he shoots at him. But Kylo Ren stops his shot in midair and freezes Poe in place. And now he's like, what the hell did I get myself into? But since now he has Poe, he just figures that the old dude gave him the map, and doesn't need the villagers anymore, and they die. Ouch time! But the one stormtrooper who's freaked out won't kill him. So they live? Did you not hear me when I said, and they die? Ah! All the other ones shoot him until they're dead. You are sentenced to be executed until you are dead. They also blow up his X-Wing, but I don't know why Ren thinks Poe already has the map, I mean, they could have got there before the handoff, and if that was the case, they would have just burned it, or possibly killed the only person who knew where it was. You don't know anything. They take Poe back to the Star Destroyer, and it looks like that one stormtrooper, FN-2187, Finn, I'm gonna call you Finn, is that alright? Yeah! Is gonna be a big trouble. You saw a big doo-doo at this time! Poe won't tell anyone where he put the map, so Kylo Ren reads Poe's mind to know where the map's hidden. Do you mind if I, uh, look? But if this is so important to him, I don't know why he just didn't do this first. He could've just read his mind in the village when BB-8 was right there. And now they have to go back and find him when he could be anywhere by now. Why does everyone want to go back to Jakku? Back on Jakku, we see the scavenger chick who hears BB-8 in trouble. She grabs her bow staff and runs over to help. This guy's trying to kidnap BB-8, but Ray won't let it happen. BB-8 wants to be friends with her, but I guess she wasn't bored enough to want company, and she tells him to fuck off. You might want to rethink your technique. But he makes her feel bad, so she lets him follow her home. Why do I sense we've picked up another pathetic life form? Back on the ship, Poe's recovering from the torture, and a stormtrooper comes in and says that Ren wants to talk to him. But for some reason, doesn't want to talk to him in the torture room. Turns out, the stormtrooper's Finn, and he wants to escape but needs Poe's help. You need a pilot. I need a pilot. They manage to get to a TIE fighter, but they run into a couple snags. Can you fly a TIE fighter? I can fly anything. Use him to Booba! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! No, 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 we can't go back to Jakku! On Jakku, Finn wakes up to see the TIE fighter sinking and only manages to save Poe's jacket. That's my jacket. He then wanders the desert until he finds a village. In the village, Ray's taken BB-8 with her to sell some crap. The pawn shop guy offers her a little bit of food for the scraps, but a crap ton of food for BB-8. And she's like, nah. So he tells a bunch of guys to go steal BB-8 instead. And when they do, she beats them all up with a stick while everyone just watches. So Guerrero used to say one fighter with a sharp stick, nothing left to lose can take the day. Including Finn, who, to be fair, was trying to help. Hey! But she really didn't need any. I think I can handle myself. And then BB-8 sees him and says that he stole Poe's jacket, so she goes to beat him up. He tells BB-8 that Poe's dead, and then they're attacked by the First Order. To get away, they need to steal a ship, but the only one not blown up is the Millennium Falcon. So obviously, they get away, thanks to Unkar keeping it gassed up with the keys in it, kind of like they do at the Smithsonian. This ship hasn't flown in years! Stay low! It confuses their tracking! And now this officer has to tell Kylo Ren that they lost the droid, that Finn took it, and that some random chick helped. So he throws a baby fit, stronger than I thought, and really wants to know who the girl is. 
Why does he care about her? Well, he knows that Fen doesn't have any friends to go to, so if they hide somewhere, it's going to be with someone she knows. But he doesn't know that she hasn't been off planet since she was like six. I didn't have friends. But it doesn't matter anyway, since it looks like they're going to die. Ray's trying to fix this gas leak, but for some reason, thinks that this is a good time to find out their destination. So where's your base? She's also too busy to pick up on that Finn has no idea where this base is. Get us there as fast as you can. He also can't seem to give her the right equipment. So she yells at him about how dangerous his incompetence is, instead of simply just saying, I need the yellow one. So it's kind of like doing DIY projects with your grandpa. Hey! So as soon as they get it fixed, they're immediately captured by this big ass freighter. They think it's the First Order, so they decide to poison them by releasing the gas again. But wouldn't they die too? No, they just put on gas masks that they stupidly weren't wearing when the leak was there before, and hide in a smuggler's hatch. And then they're immediately found, but by Han and Chewie. Goodness! Han Solo! It's me. Oh, Han's gonna kill him. Well, he is pissed, but he doesn't really blame him. And for some reason, he doesn't believe that Rey's a pilot. I'm the pilot! You? But this is pretty typical of this universe when somebody says they can fly. Who's gonna fly it, kid? You? You sure you can handle this shit? Anyway, the Falcon was stolen a few years ago, so now they're on an even bigger freighter smuggling dangerous animals. Han wants to send Rey and Fen back to Jakku, but can't when he finds out that the flash drive has a map to Luke. Luke! Luke's crazy! He can't even take care of himself, much less rescue anybody. Han agrees to drop him off to get help, but some guys he double-crossed board a ship. This guy, Balatik, is there to collect the money Han borrowed from both him and Kanja Club. Boy George's band? No, that's Culture Club. Why do you know that? Anyway, Han tries to talk his way out of it, but they notice BB-8, and they know the First Order's looking for him. Because they sent out like a newsletter or something. He's a BB unit, orange and white, one of a kind. Ray tries to help, but accidentally releases the Raptars, these giant octopus aliens that eat people. Well, except Finn. He's grabbed, but they don't eat him for some reason. That was lucky! Ray's able to save him, and they all make it back to the Millennium Falcon and escape. But Chewie's hurt, so Finn tries to fix him, while Ray tries to help Han fix the Falcon. Girl knows her stuff. So now he wants to hire her. Really? Oh, she turns him down. Idiot. See, she was abandoned as a child, and stupidly thinks that they're gonna come back for her. They're never coming back. So Han wants to see the map, and Ray's like, I thought all that Jedi crap was just a legend. But Han tells her it's real. How could she not know? It hasn't been that long. Well, even when the Jedi were peacekeepers, it was still pretty rare for some rando to come across them. Hello, Dex. You had to be royalty, in government, or a bad guy to meet one. And even if you happen to come across one, Jedi by the looks of him. What are your chances they were doing Jedi shit right in front of you? Jedi business. Go back to your drinks. So it's kind of easy to see how a lot of people would think it's fake. I mean, that's kind of why Han didn't believe it before meeting Obi-Wan. It's all a lot of simple tricks and nonsense. But you'd think at some point, Chewie would have mentioned that he fought with a member of the Jedi Council. Goodbye, Chewbacca. So Han explains to Rey and Finn that Luke was training some new Jedi, one of which was Kylo Ren, who betrayed him, and because of that, Luke went into hiding. Oh, like Yoda and Obi-Wan did. Eh, kinda like that. See, Obi-Wan and Yoda were hiding from a government that wanted to kill him, and Luke was just having a pity party. A little bit more to it than that. But rumor has it, he went to look for the first Jedi temple. They then get to where they're going, where Chewie stays behind to fix the ship, and Han, Rey, and Finn go to a bar with BB-8. Well, aren't they worried he'll be recognized again? You would think, but no. And of course, he's immediately recognized. Han wants this chick Maz to get him to Leia, and she's like, fuck that, do it yourself, you coward. But Han doesn't want to get sucked back into a fight with a superpower, and Finn can't blame him. Rey, on the other hand, seems a little excited and tries to stop Finn from leaving. He then admits to her that he was a stormtrooper that deserted. He also explains that all stormtroopers are kidnapped kids that are brainwashed. Wow, he must have been really sad when he had to kill some of them when he escaped. Uh, yeah. He, he was real sad. I'm getting pretty good at this. But as he leaves, she starts hearing a child crying and slowly goes to investigate. Turns out the sounds were coming from Anakin's lightsaber. You know, the one Luke lost on Bespin. You want this, don't you? And when she touches it, she hears a whole bunch of voices. An elegant weapon, but a more civilized age. Wipe them out. This is where the fun begins. I killed them all. Every single one of them. And not just the men, but the women. And the children, too. 
So she gets freaked out and runs away. Maz stops her and tells her that she needs to take it, but she's like, uh, hell no. I ain't touching that thing. And she runs into the woods. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. BB-8 follows her just as the First Order gets there. She covers his getaway until Kylo Ren gets her. Stop! You stay very still. Don't move. He's able to read her mind, knows she saw the map. What are you doing back there? And she's all, what the hell did I get myself into? This was a mistake! Huge! And so he decides he doesn't need it or BB-8 if he has her. Which is stupid, because I really doubt she memorized the map perfectly in the whole minute she saw it. He takes her to his ship. I'm gonna take you to my place. While the stormtroopers attack the bar. So this place that's been here for thousands of years is destroyed because Han was too much of a pussy to face Leia. It's not my fault. Han and Chewie are under fire, and Han decides that this is the best time to try out Chewie's crossbow that shoots exploding lasers. Even though he literally tried it earlier that day. Wow. Look how old you've become. And Finn is recognized by one of the other stormtroopers. We know each other. He's a friend from work and has to fight him with the lightsaber, at which he proceeds to get his ass kicked. This is very complicated. But just as they're caught, the resistance comes and saves him. Great shot, kid, that was one in a million. Finn gets the lightsaber back, but immediately switches back to a gun since he kinda sucks with it. I'm working on it! He also sees this one pilot that's just blowing up all his former coworkers, and Finn's like, awesome. Got a boyfriend, cute boyfriend? And when we see who the super good pilot is, we see that somehow, Poe has returned. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Leia gets a big hug from Chewie and awkwardly talks to Han. I love you. Don't say that. Wouldn't be nice to you. They then all go to the base where BB-8 and Finn catch up with Poe. He introduces Finn to Leia. This is Finn. While C-3PO and BB-8 check on R2-D2. Apparently, R2's been in a coma since Luke went missing, and nobody's been able to snap him out of it. But BB-8 at least tries. It's a valiant effort, but you never stood a chance. They look at the map and they're like, nope. Can't figure it out, it's only half, and there's no way R2 has the other part. It is very doubtful that R2 would have the rest of the map in his backup data. Back at the First Order base, Rey wakes up in the torture chair where Kylo Ren's just watching her sleep. Like a creep. I, I like watching you sleep. It's, um, it's kind of fascinating to me. He makes fun of her new friends. I should go back there and rip this guy's heads off. And is all butthurt that she doesn't like him. Are you afraid? That happens when you're being hunted by a creature in a mask. So he takes off his mask to seem less scary. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to introduce myself. And he does, because without it, he just looks like somebody who's good at math. You need a teacher! He reads her mind, but instead of looking for the map, he talks about her past and makes her feel bad. So when he finally tries to get the map, she fights back and reads his mind. Yeah, right. She wouldn't be able to do that. Shut up. Her growing up with stories about the Jedi is like you growing up with stories about Superman. And if I told you right now that you were from Krypton, you would be up on that roof in two seconds jumping off trying to fly. Hell yeah, I would. But if he would have just looked for the map first, she might not have been able to figure it out. But he wanted to play literal mind games, and she does. She is strong with the Force. Untrained, but stronger than she knows. She even flips it back on him and makes him feel bad, so he runs to Daddy Snoke. Since Kylo didn't get BB-8, they assume the Resistance has him, so General Hux decides to use this opportunity to try to win the sibling rivalry. What a baby. He tells Snoke, well, Kylo may have screwed up, but I tracked one of their pilots back to their base. So they decide to blow up their system. Prepare the weapon. So the weapon that the First Order uses is called Starkiller Base, and it gets its energy from sucking the life out of the nearest sun. But you'll die. And this is five times as big as the Death Star, and has five times the lasers. It was the Republic! It is clear to me now that the Republic no longer functions. And they know where they are, because this dumbass Snap didn't check for trackers before he went back to the secret base. Are you brainless? And Snoke also wants to meet Rey, but when Kylo gets back to get her, she's gone. And the woman, she ran off. So he throws another baby fit. No! 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 no. She used the Jedi mind trick on a stormtrooper that was guarding her. So she could just do it right away? Well, it doesn't seem that different from mind reading, but it does take her a few times. Tighten those restraints. Scavenge your scum. What, do you think you're some kind of Jedi? And it's not like anybody taught Luke. He just saw Obi-Wan do it and figured it out. These aren't the droids you're looking for. The Force can have a strong influence on the weak mind. Aren't you drop your weapon? And I'll drop my weapon. So she gets away, and now the whole base is looking for her. The woman's still in the area. The hunt is his possession. I just made this his most exciting game ever. 
Well, the Resistance wants to use Fenn's time on Starkiller Base to figure out how to blow it up. There's always a way to do that. And he says that he needs to be there, so Han and Chewie are going to take him. Their mission is to shut down the shields so the fighters can blow up the exhaust port. Some kind of thermal oscillator. That sounds familiar. It's another Death Star. Well, to get past the shields, Han has to land at light speed. Which sounds like a great way to die. Spectacular way of killing us all, I'll give you that. But they make it because they're the main characters. And as they're breaking into the base, Finn tells him he was just a janitor and doesn't know how to shut down the shields. But he knows who does, and they just take Captain Phasma as a prisoner and get her to do it. Oh, giving up, Lisa, think of something. And then they throw her in the trash compactor. The garbage will do! They kind of accidentally bump into Rey, and she's amazed that they came back for her, because no one's ever given a crap about her before. Chewie kind of likes you. As they're about to leave, they see that the fighters are getting their asses kicked. Bow to the first order! So they decide to go back inside to blow up the entrance to the exhaust port to make it easier for them. And for some reason, Han gives Chewie back the detonator. I have a bad feeling about this. They split up to set the charges when Kylo Ren comes in. Now he doesn't see any of them. It's not hard to guess. And it seems like they can get away, but Han yells at him. Bring him on, I prefer a straight fight to all this sneaking around. Turns out Kylo Ren is really Ben Solo. That's impossible! Han goes down to him and tells him that his mommy misses him and he should come home. I want him back. And for a second, it seems like he might. See, he knows that he's really just a nerd LARPing as a bad guy, but he really wants to impress his dead grandpa. What have I done? So he just stabs Han. And I love you. Thank you. And throws him down a bottomless pit. Boring conversation anyway. Ray and Finn are shocked, and Chewie's pissed, so he shoots him. So he dies too? Nah, he's kind of just got a bellyache. I want to be free of this pain. He probably used the Force to stop the arrow from exploding or some shit. That's not how the Force works. But when the stormtroopers start shooting at them, Chewie just blows the place. Ray and Finn are running back to the Falcon, but Kylo Ren is there waiting for him. How did he get in front of him? Oh, I guess he knew a shortcut. Like his father. But he wants to fight, so he punches himself in the stomach. Why? I think it's so he'll stay angry, but it could be so he stays conscious. Ray tries to shoot him, so he throws her 50 feet up against a tree. It's high. It's very high. So now Finn's pissed and remembers that he still has the lightsaber. So he's ready to take on someone who has extensive training with the weapon when some random stormtrooper kicked his ass earlier. Brave of you, boy. But I would have thought you had learned your lesson. I guess he's hoping Kylo Ren will just pass out from the pain before he gets to him. You can't win, but there are alternatives to fighting. But they fight. What in the blazes is he doing there? He's trying. I didn't say anything. I don't think the boy can handle it. I've had a pretty messed up day, all right? And Kylo Ren cuts him all the way up his back. I'm a big deal in the resistance, which puts a real target on my back. The lightsaber goes flying, and he's too tired to go pick it up, so he tries to use the force. But it flies right past him to Rey. How did you do that? I don't know! And she's understandably terrified. Get help, you're no match for him. He's a Sith Lord. But she's more pissed and ready to fight him. God, I can feel your anger. I guess killing two out of the three friends she's ever made makes it worth the risk. So they start fighting. Give in to your anger. Like she would be able to beat him. Well, she's already good with the staff, and her way of fighting with a lightsaber isn't really that different. Plus, she's in perfect physical condition while he's probably bleeding to death. And he does still get the upper hand, but he can see how talented she is and doesn't want to kill her. He actually wants her to be his apprentice, and when he offers, she's like, oh yeah. I can use the force. And then he's like, uh-oh, what did I get myself into? Let the hate flow through you. And proceeds to kick the shit out of him. A Jedi uses the force for knowledge and defense. Never attack. Do not hesitate, show no mercy. She's actually ready to kill him. Do it. But the pilots finally get around to blowing up the exhaust port, and now the planet's coming apart. Whoa, this thing really moves! She runs back to Finn, who's still alive, despite taking a lightsaber to the back that should have severed his spine. I guess it's a good thing he caught the blunt end of the laser. You okay, big deal? She waits with him to die. There's no time. Leave him, or we'll never make it. But Chewie comes in and saves him at the last second. And then they get back to the base, where Leia ignores Chewie completely and comforts Rey, a girl she's never met about Han's death. That bitch. And then all of a sudden, R2 wakes up, and he does have the other part of the map. So now they can find Luke and bring him back. So Leia sends Rey off with Chewie, R2, and the Millennium Falcon to get him. Oh my god, Rey gets to have the Millennium Falcon, Luke and Anakin's lightsaber. She gets to go off with Chewie, R2-D2, and be trained by Luke. 
she's going to have the most amazing adventure ever. Yep, that's what's going to happen. We're not done yet. The belonging you seek is not behind you, it is ahead. Just hit the subscribe button. I like this thing. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. It'll be all right! Our job's done here. Let's go home. We'll see each other again. May the force be with you.